Dark man, I saw. The... Did you see the my reaction? I, I know, was like, I... The, the bear? <laughs> really? We're eating bamboo right now? <laughs> And Markman, ladies and gentlemen, I know you missed it, but he had his eyes wide open with like, what? <laughs> All right, well, this is, okay, this is going to be interesting. This is definitely So we're only be missing lions, but we got tigers and bears right now. <laughs> oh, my. This we is going to be fun. <laughs> yeah. And funny enough, we're in Howard Estate again here. And I, I would dare say that neither of these two characters are going to be able to take the whole way. It's going to be one for <laughs> two per piece at most. Hopefully, Mark, when we don't get jinxed. Look at this, the barrage of, ja of jabs already from Doji. I'd like to see them prove us wrong. Let me see a four-wall combo from Panda. <laughs> we know it's not possible, but just try. We would pay to see that. Here we go. Ooh. Ulsan again with a ve very simple, keeping it kosher. Uh, 40 seconds left, and Dojin with a G left cannon. Oh, yeah, the follow-up. This is going to hurt. This is the first of four walls. Yeah. Ba-boom. There it is, unscaled. He's going to go for that. That is definitely more damage, and yeah. there it is, the pounds off of Dojin's panda. That's a great, a genius option, actually, because you have enough time there using the key charge just to build the extra damage points there. Here we go, Ulsan going the other way. Another thing to note about that, Markman, is the fact that when you key charge, it actually aids in your timing. So, so the follow-up will be a scaled option. Here we go. Now Dojin in a little bit of trouble here in terms of life lead. Olsan has quite a, a lot of tools, you know, that can sniff out the bear off of his hands. Yeah, the tools can only go so far. The That's tools right. got to be sharp. And Olsan right now really trying to find his rhythm here. Lost that first round, but right now in a much better position here in terms of patience, in terms of just spacing, looking for the opportunity. Second Whoa. hit. That is the classic too. You know, he's such a good player knowing, you know what, I know he blocked, but I'm still going to finish it. Boom. Crimson Dawn pulls the trigger right there is Olsan. You don't see that very often coming out of a Kazumi unless it's a punish. What a low parry here from Olsan all the way to the wall was the follow-up. Goes for that. Uh, that's for Pandas as well, knowing that you, you, you're not going to go through. Here we go. Good life lead here for Olsan. Those just have to be very careful. Has his back to the wall. Good punish. And there it is. Using that speed advantage of Kazumi here, Markman, putting Dojin in a really dangerous situation here. 38 seconds left on that clock. Now, round number three goes to Olsan. Yeah. Olsan Whoa. playing very solid, but no launch punish there on the Shiny Fist combo. Going back the other way. Here and comes Olsan, but misses the combo. What happened there? Even Dojin got shocked that he had to block that entire string. 47 seconds left on the clock. Applying a little bit of pressure here. Dojin misses the bear, running one plus two. 42 seconds left. Yeah, nice stuff there. Good pressure. Using those new tactics. Let's see what he does. Nice, and that is going to do a lot of... Oh, oh what, what happened? Stubby bears, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the funky, funky hurt box. Yeah, that was weird. I mean, maybe it's like the, the, the natural defense of the animals or the bears, <laughs> but that was still a very interesting situation. You know, if I'm Dojin here, you're thinking like, okay... Bear's not working. We gotta, we gotta go somewhere else. We gotta pick another character. And knowing him, he would definitely have a plan. You know, going into this, Alisa versus Kazumi. I fight poke with poke here, Markman. Yeah, I like mental game, right? I like this pick. You know, That's a right. very, very strong character. You know, I think because the rest of the cast did get adjusted, Alisa, I feel like rises up on the on the on the tier rankings a little bit more. Very solid character, especially with walls and mm. knowing to be able to capitalize and optimize your combo with walls makes her that much more dangerous. And it's worth mentioning too that Elisa's destructive stance, you know, the, the chainsaw, chainsaw game, is. yeah. That's uh, that's where things get really interesting if you're an Elisa user, wow. knowing when and where to bring it out, that could make the biggest difference. Here we go, geometric plane here. Yeah, a very, very simple, humble stage. And now Olsan still again continuing with those jab uh, uh, offenses here, Markman. Here we go, 3-1 connecting. Oh, nice. Going the other way. I oh, don't no. think that's what, exactly what he wanted, but still didn't get punished too hard for it. Better watch out here, Dojin. 40 seconds left on the clock, and he already has a huge life lead here. Zosan, never mind. He caught up to it, Markman. The delay, the second hit, able to land. Here comes Ow. the chainsaws. Yeah, that last one, that one does a doozy. <laughs> that was big. Watch out. Watch those legs here, folks. And not to mention, that's a chainsaw. You cannot actually low parry it. You have to commit to the block. Yep. I mean, I'd like to see someone try to <laughs> low parry the chainsaw. No matter who you are. <laughs> Geese being most likely. Here we go. What a, what a parry here for Bolsan taking it to the wall. There's the shredder kicks off of Kazumi. I like the option there. Able to capitalize and get the, the most damage out of it. Like if you don't want to flip the opponent over with the 1 plus 2, might as well go for that unscaled damage. 34 seconds left here. And Dojin bringing out the destructive stance again. 
That was a big opportunity. Ulsan probably could have had the launch there. That's right. What's going to happen? Nice. Gets the punish with the wall standing 4 4. And look at that. Tying it up on games, or in rounds, I should say. Good shoe shine attempt there from Dojin, but again, not enough health to survive that punishment. 55 seconds here on the clock, and Olsan. Here, look at this. Wisely, Dojin does not go for the offense right away. He wants to gauge Olsan now, compared to a while ago, when he would try to get in immediately as well. There it is. See, nothing's happening so far. Yeah, but Olsan is doing such a great job. He's, been, he's just so patient, mm -hmm. looking for this opportunity, very content with going for some safe and compact attacks. Boy. But this is the challenge though. How is Doji gonna open him up? And these characters both equip like wow, two for two on the Crimson Dawns here, Markman. Olsan really knows how to condition Dojin in this sense because he has not blocked a single one. Oh, what a float. It's really unfortunate here for Dojin and Olsan in potential uh, match and set point here, Mark. Yeah, Olsan is looking really good here. Doji's gotta be thinking too that that panda pick early on did not pay off. Had a cool combo, but now switching over to Lisa, which he stuck with for the entirety yeah. of the set, but a great sidestep there from Olsan. He's going to push and get towards the other wall here. Gets the hit, looking to get the big damage. Unable to do it, though. Not enough dash of the Fearless Warrior there, ladies and gentlemen, but hits a Tiger. 40 seconds, and Dojin just a little shy of range here. 40, 35 seconds left on the clock, rather. Olsan still continuing this flurry of offense. There it is, a block, but no punish from Dojin. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Oh, Look, at that's going to be so. it. With blocking that shoe shine, Markman, the defense was just unparalleled in that set. Yeah, and you saw Osan.